Okay guys, so I wanted to show you my uh, fire kit. It's a bit big, but when it's uh, damp and wet, uh, I like to take, you know, I'd, I'd like to be safe. So I'm um, just going to show you a few things I've got inside. Okay, right, so what we have here. I have my uh, ferro rod. Yeah. Then I have a uh, magnesium rod, magnesium thing also. I have my tin uh, to make, um, so my tin for making uh, char cloth. I have a few pieces of um, cotton there. And uh, inside my tin I have a few pieces of char cloth ready. Oh, and I have a coin also to cover the hole, you know how it goes. Right, what else do I have? I have um, <clears throat> uh, some cotton wool uh, in Vaseline, packed in plastic. I have some sanitizing uh, gel, uh, which is mostly uh, alcohol, so uh, it also helps to, to light a fire. Then I have uh, some matches, standard matches. I don't have any waterproof cool fancy uh, matches. I also carry a candle broken in two yeah. so that also helps uh, when everything's wet especially. Then I have um, a tin with some uh, thread to start a fire and in this tin I have So I have some cotton wool, I have some uh, dry alcohol tablets, fire starting tablets and another ferro rod, oops, sorry, another ferro rod also. Okay, that's in the tin. Then what else do I carry? Oh yeah, I have my little container with um, uh, little sticks uh, dipped in uh, in alcohol. They're rather soaked, and that also helps to start a fire. And I also have this dry fuel tablets, eight of them in each packet. Now here it says, oh, let me see. Each one of them is 70 grams. There's eight in a packet. Um, okay, well that's my fire kit. Of course I always carry a lighter with me, actually two lighters with me, but I think that with all this I can, you know, start quite a few fires and, uh, you know, and have enough nice warm coffee. This is what I usually take with me. Uh, any comments, uh, criticism, uh, anything uh, I would appreciate, uh, advice also of course, so please leave a comment and um, alright, Grim Ripper out.